Hello, my CNC brother or sister. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. Welcome to this video where we get to have a little laid back discussion with Mark Lindsay. It's the first time I've been able to connect with him. And so we just chewed the fat. So I think that you'll enjoy this. Mark Lindsay, if you haven't heard of him, he's another well known CNCer on YouTube and has been teaching for quite a long time. So this little video is just a chew the fat kind of video. Welcome to the other side of our world on a more personal side. It's kind of cool to be able to connect with Mark and the other CNC brothers and sisters that I'll be talking to in the future. So sit back, relax, enjoy a little discussion with Mark. It was <laughs> open. It was trying to connect to Zoom on the web is what oh, it was oh, oh, oh. through a web page. So the camera was already in use. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that welcome to my world. This ha kind of thing yeah. happens to me every Sunday. So basically what happened Sunday was out there in the shop, that little weak squeaky desktop was trying to connect to a router 40 feet away through two walls. Oh. And one of them has an electrical panel right in the middle of it. Oh. No external antenna on the computer. So uh, the fact that it went live anyway was uh, was amazing. So oh. finally, I figured out, wait a minute, let me check and see if Wi-Fi somehow got turned back on. And sure enough, it did. So I shut off Wi-Fi, then did that test stream. And yeah, OK, I'm back. All right, good. <laughs> yeah, oh, maybe wow. do what I did. I had uh, I ran a uh, wire from from my router here in my apartment down to my shop. So yeah. I was running across the roofs and all that kind of stuff to make it as bad as the shop. So oh yeah, when I buried the electrical to build that shop, I buried two empty conduits right okay. alongside of it and in one of them i ran a cat 8 cable i'm oh. trying to future proof yes is if we get one gig service i'll need cat 8 right. so i ran a cat 8 cable out there and into a uh, wall outlet that i can just plug an ethernet cable into and plug the back into the computer and i'm hardwired in gotcha and gotcha. but wi-fi turned back on so uh, you know yeah well your shop's looking good brother it's getting there. Yeah. It is getting there. I've I still got, I still got some stuff to do mainly on the outside, but um, I'm running out of room fast. So I'm going to have to, I'm building a lean two off of the back to put okay. my compressor and dust collector. Okay. And I got to hurry up and do that because I'm gathering dust collector parts like crazy and I got no place to put them. <laughs> right. Get that done before the next heat wave. Remember that exactly. one you had last year? Oh God. That was insane. Unfortunately, that's, we didn't have that here. That was that's average Oregon weather. I mean, we get down to zero in the winter and we get up uh last year we had five straight days over 110 degrees. We hit yeah. we hit 115 one day. Is is that that's normal in Oregon yeah. to get that high of a temperature? What what yep. part of Oregon you in? Uh, I'm in a little town nobody's ever heard of called Medford. I'm about 30 miles north of the California border. I'm one person on the planet that's heard of it. My mom was yeah. born there. Was she really? Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could tell you the street, but I remember we went back and visited many years later with her mm -hmm. and she drove down her street and then pulled on the main street and they had changed it to a one-way street and she was going the wrong way. Uh oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, then she must have been there for a while because they've been one way ever since I was born. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was quite a while ago. She would be like yeah. 95 right now, something like yeah. that. But. Well, I'm I'm 61. I was born about eight miles to the southeast of where I'm sitting right now. So I tell okay. people I'm so local, I'm related to myself. Right. right. I've been, uh, so. I've been, Oregon's one of the states I've, I've thought about moving to, Oregon and Washington. So, Mark, it is nice to, after a year and a half of me being on, on YouTube, to finally uh, run into you. And, yeah, and it's to... it's craziness, man. <laughs> It, it is crazy and things just keep getting busier and busier. I mean, behind the scenes, because I've got, oh, I've got five kids. I got seven grandkids, a wife, all my family is here. And, um, we bought a, we bought this house four years ago and I've been landscaping ever since. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you got a lot of grandkids, then, five kids, huh? They're, yeah. they're all, they're all adults now, right? Uh, oh yeah, my my uh, my oldest grandson's twenty seven. Okay. So okay. yeah, the, the, we have two grandkids back east in uh, Maryland, 
well, one in Maryland, one in Virginia, mm -hmm. all in the D.C. area. And um, the youngest is four. Yes, she's four. He's seven. So, but the rest of them are all grown and gone. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, yeah. But by our age, that's usually the case. That's except in yep. my brother's age. Uh, my brother's case is they had their first kid when when his wife was forty. Yeah. Right? So he's now just leaving for college. Oh no, no, no! I don't <laughs> want to do that. Give me grandkids. I can spoil them. Give them back to mom, and yep. I'm done. Yep. Amen, brother. Amen. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I give me a fishing buddy, and then when he's when grandpa's no longer cool. All right, fine. Bring on the next one. Right, right, right. So, so, so Margaret, when I was, uh, you've been on YouTube at least six years now, dude. Um, I started, I, I started my channel in 2010. Good Lord. And basically, I just used it as a place to put videos that I could share with my friends, send them uh -huh. a link. And then I got involved in several different, you know, I, I've been working with my hands, been a woodworker for fi over 50 years. Mm -hmm. And I was in various forums, you know, back in the day, the old message forums and things, lumberjacks and uh, guitar forums and camp trailers. I used to build camp trailers as a hobby. And people would ask questions and it was just always easier for me to make a quick video, post it, post a link and say, there you go. Yeah. And, you know, go do whatever you were going to do. Here's how I did it. And I've kept a few of those videos up only because the links are still active. The forum is still there and they're still getting hit. So okay. leave that information up there for folks. Even though they're already ancient. Huh? <laughs> yeah. And I'm no longer into that. I haven't built a trailer in 15 years and okay. have no interest in starting again. Sure. And right. I haven't built a guitar in. Oh, six. Yeah. Six or seven years now. What, what do you call a guitar maker? What's, what's the a luthier luthier? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I am not a luthier. I am to me. A luthier is someone who can design and build an acoustic instrument. Okay. I am. I am not that guy. Okay. You know, I can cut out a body. I can cut out a neck. I can bolt it together. I can wire it up and it will play. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't even play guitar. <laughs> what, what, did you, what got you into making them? That looked fascinating. It, to me, it was always one of those things because the level, level of precision you need uh -huh. to make one yeah, and have every fret, keep the strings in tune required. I mean, it's got to be accurate. Okay. And yes. so it was just that level of precision. I always wanted to do it just to see if I could do it. Just for and the challenge. Then it became like potato chips. You can't just make one. Right, right. <laughs> and then when people see what you can do, they want one. So, you know, I probably for gifts, I probably owe about six instruments and I'm slowly working on it. <laughs> really? Okay. So you got you got some promises still hanging out there. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I am working on them. It's just when I can get the chance. So okay. it's when the time comes. Right. Right. Among the grandkids and family the, and that. And working on the yard and building up the building uh, shop and doing all that other good stuff. Thankfully, right. that's the major part of that is over. Right. Right. You're running a Gatton, right? You're still running the yes. Gatton or you? Yep. Okay. Yeah. I thought, okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, you're a Gatton guy. I'm a long mill guy. Still running the Gatton. Um, there may be an upgrade coming soon. We'll, I don't know though. We'll uh we'll see what happens when it happens. But right, uh right. yeah, it's I'm kind of in one of those funny situations in that I never started off doing this to do anything with it. I was answering questions. And I kept seeing the same questions coming up over and over and yes. over again. Yeah. So I just started making videos for that very same reason. It's easier for me to post a link to a video and say, here you go. Mm -hmm. than it is to try to type all this stuff out in text every time somebody asks me. Yep. Yeah. So, <laughs> and it just kind of grew organically. And, so. and the questions keep coming. Yeah. And they always will. Yeah. But I have I'm a library kind of... built up to where people can go back and, you know, 
I don't get as many questions as I used to because most folks now know where to go to look. Mm. And because if you type a search into YouTube, <clears throat> how do I do this in Aspire or VCarve or whatever? There's Uka million videos out there right. from, from me and other folks, you and Kyle and you know, there's more jumping on the bandwagon. And I say, there's room for everybody. Go for it. You're taking the pressure off of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so I, I think I'm getting it too. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, you know how it happens. They, if you know how to do a and B, they put it into their head. Well, you know how to do F R and W. Yeah. So let me go ask that, you know, and it's like, dude, I don't know. I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> I've run into that quite a few times. It, 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 it's interesting. Both you and I are vector guys, and uh, uh, there's like no end to learning that software. Oh, and it keeps changing. Yeah. You know, I mean, 11.5, they're working on right now. I don't know when it's coming out. Okay. Um, but in talking with Todd, he said that he would be surprised if it wasn't out by September for the user group meeting. Oh. That's kind of what they shoot for. It doesn't always happen because like right. between eight and 8.5, it was like two and a half years between the versions. But after 8.5, they've been going about once a year with okay. a new version. Okay. So, so 11.5 wouldn't be in, it, it's like a new sub version though, isn't it? Or uh, is well, it... it's, they call it an in-family upgrade and everybody who has, like, if you have version 11, you will yeah. get a free upgrade to version 11.5. Okay. Okay. It's only when they go to version 12, which may be one or two years down the road, right. then there's an upgrade fee. Right. That's when they add all the new bells and whistles. And well, figures. no, they add a lot of bells and whistles in the, uh, in the uh, in family upgrades too because like the difference between 8.0 and 8.5 that's when they introduced the rotary axis um job setup they introduced a bunch of different new tool pathing uh from version 9 to 9.5 and 9.5 they introduced the photo v carve in in the software you it play with the photo v carve you know what i have the standalone program i bought it God, in 2014 or 15. Yeah. And I've opened it once. I just haven't <laughs> had time to get into it. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. hard to do when you're, when you're trying to learn Aspire or V carve or something like that. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. You know what? Even inside of that, you got to pick your battle, don't you? Yeah, you do. You do. I mean, I really, I got Aspire because I really wanted to dig into 3D modeling hot and heavy. Mm -hmm. Then I met Mike Mazalik and we got to talking behind the scenes. And that man has forgotten more about modeling than I've ever learned. But he's been a but he's been a vectric beta tester for, for 10 years now. Yeah, yeah. So, he's a whiz. He's a yes. whiz when it comes to that stuff. I just downloaded the, the free version. Uh, the trial version, so because I want to start working on the three D models, and so yeah. yeah, I think uh, maybe we need to go hire Mike for for it's a deep class. deep rabbit hole. Yeah, it's a totally different well, animal. Michael is also the head of training for Axiom, so there is that too, and he he does live in classroom training several times a year okay. for them. And in fact, he got a hold of me. That's how him and I met. He wanted me to fly to Ohio and do classes there. And I'm like, I can't fly to Ohio, man. I got too much going on here. I'm sorry. Right, you know? right. And I'm old. I used to, I was an aircraft mechanic in the army. I, I'm done flying. If I, if I can't drive there, I don't need to be there. I don't fly. Anymore, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I kind of quit flying after uh, after our uh, 2020. Uh, yeah. Just just kind of got, but I did fly down to Florida last week at a wedding. It was actually good. But I, a little nerve wracking. I flew to Atlanta in 2017 for a big woodworking show. Mm -hmm. um, all the YouTubers were there and uh, met and stayed at Dave Gatton's house. And I mean, the whole thing, it was a great time. But when I flew back and landed here, it's just, okay, that's it. No more flying for me. <laughs> I'm done. Right. And then six months later, my wife flew to Scotland and it's like, all right, fine. But I was still working at the time. I hadn't retired yet. So I okay. Okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't retire. I just said I'm done. I walked off. Just, yeah, was done. 
Yep. I retired in April of 2018 and never looked okay. back. Yep. You know, I, yep. Did I you, you, you hit that moment? You're like, just, yeah. I, just, I don't have a job. I don't want a job and I don't want to run a business. I'm, I've had my time. I do this for fun. Mm -hmm. um, we're in a position to where I don't have to do this for money. And um, I'm just, I just do my thing and I do it for fun. Uh, right. Since I was a kid, I've wanted to be a quote unquote filmmaker. And I got my first movie camera when I was seven years old. So we're looking at 1968. Yeah, you, you you messaged when we were messaging. You said you you started doing it when they had uh, eight millimeter rules. Yeah, I I go back to eight millimeter days. I was just getting into sixteen millimeter when video cassette came out and started getting real popular, and that was a whole nother ball game. So I kind of put the filmmaking on pause because the buy-in basically was several thousand dollars because you don't just edit a videotape on a camcorder there is a specialized editing station that you needed at the time because pcs weren't a thing yet mm -hmm. and i just couldn't afford to get into it so i just kind of put that on hold well so would you would you have to splice the the tape uh, well, no, it was all done through your, your playing off of two or three different recorders through oh. this station into another master recorder. Okay. Blending and do fades and wipes and things like that. And it was basically all controlling the signal coming out of one recorder and into another recorder. And then blending in signal from another recorder over the top of that and blending the other one out. It was all done on a big, big control board with sliders and knobs okay. and dials. And I mean, it was, it looked like a broadcast studio. It didn't work that way with eight millimeter though. No, you had to, you had to that I had, I had, yes, I had a little screen <clears throat> about, you know, that big and a reel over here, a reel over here. And I wound them by hand and found the place I wanted to make the edit, clamped it down and cut with a razor blade remove the piece i wanted to remove cut it again tape it together okay you get that whole thing all spliced together you send it off and you have a copy made of it and that's what you played you put the original in a bank vault basically <laughs> so right right happened to it right wow uh, so what did, did, did you do i guess it was all um what it was all hobby, hob stuff. hobby stuff okay but i was trying to get known i mean it took some college courses and uh, you know was starting to build up a little bit of a following and did a little bit of uh i mean it's all local stuff yeah did a few festivals and film festivals <clears throat> and things like that and didn't win any awards or make any money with it but i was starting to kind of make a name and then the uh economy took a nosedive in 80 82, two wasn't it? Yeah, 82 and um i ended up just put hanging everything up and going into the army you know spent some years in the military met my wife and the rest as they say is history <laughs> right was she was she in the service as well yeah oh, okay yeah. that's where I, all, I went all the way to tennessee to meet a california girl <laughs> <laughs> got married and then we promptly went to germany and i mean just i followed her around um i got out of the army in uh november of 91 after the gulf war gulf war one and she was going to get out as well she had two more years mm -hmm. and then they started dangling hawaii as a re-enlistment incentive Oh. and she's like well we could go over to hawaii for three years and i'm like well i mean you're the one's got to do the duty i'm following right and we ended up going to hawaii next thing you know she retired with 22 years wow and so I, you were you were on the big island then uh no we were on oahu okay we were there we were both aircraft mechanics and okay. uh I got out and she was going to get out, but then she re-enlisted for Hawaii. And um, so I went back to the uh, cabinet shops and yeah, I've been working with wood, you know, in one form or another for, like I said, over 50 years. And wow. so I always kept my hand in either as a hobby or professionally, either cabinet shops or furniture shops or millwork shops or something like that. I was mm. always doing something and staying busy at it. And keep my wow. hand in it, you know? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, there's something to be said about woodworking, right? It's just uh, 
No, no. What is it? What is it that makes it so? Well, okay. you know, it's it's there. You have something physical and tangible at the end of it. Yeah, you know, it's it's part of it's the challenge and part of it's just the enjoyment of making something. Yeah, and you know? and you're, it's, I guess it's, it's one of those things that you just have to take a little bit of time with and yeah. and think through and and you know that you've formed something out of something else that just well yeah, I mean yeah, there are a lot of people who say well you could just buy that for ten bucks and I'm like yeah that's probably true but I very rarely feel any kind of a sense of accomplishment yeah. after I buy something you know right. Right. Yeah, that, that, that's probably about it. It's, mm-hmm. uh, it's that, that idea of having a challenge that coming, creating something. That, that's my message on my channel all the time is <clears throat> we're creators, right? We're just exactly. Well, that's forward. why with the guitars. No, I don't play guitar. My grandson does. And he's got a few that I built uh-huh. for him. And but it was the challenge to see if I could do it. And it's not always perfect. I mean, there is a, there's always going to be a learning curve, Mm -hmm. but it's just pushing myself in one direction or another to see if I can do something. And if I've got something physical, tangible that I can hold in my hand, then great. And, you know, the old saying, if all, if, if at first you don't succeed, eliminate all the evidence of the attempt, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> and the good thing with the woodworking, there's always a fire pit of the evidence. That's true. <laughs> and well, that's one of the reasons I'm not a metal guy at all, but that's one of the reasons I've always had a lot of respect for metal guys. Cause you can uh, give a metal guy a piece of, you can give a, a give him a piece of steel, the size of an SD card. And he can probably use it for something. If nothing else, he can make a locating tab with it, or he can make a flange that he can bolt something else with, or even just cut it, you know, dr- use two sizes of drill to make a washer out of it. Right. <laughs> but with wood, you're going to get down to the point to where it's just waste. You can't anymore. Right. Yeah. Yep. So yep, you're, you're right. I've actually thought about getting into some metal work, but I am having too much fun with the, with the routers. I, <clears throat> I'm yeah. really seriously debating getting a laser now. CO2 laser. Um, I had a, uh, what are they, the K40. I had one of the little K40 lasers, the 40 Mm -hmm. watt uh, CO2 lasers. Yeah. And it's fine for what it does, but I didn't have it more than maybe a week before I figured out it wasn't big enough for me to do what I wanted to do Mm -hmm. with it. And it was the one I had was so freight damaged. I couldn't get it aligned uh, so much so that they return i returned it and they accepted it back and when i got it they said when they got it they sent me an email saying yeah there's no way you would have ever gotten this thing aligned it's just scrap mm-hmm. so hmm. um but it it just wasn't big enough you can figure for the size of that sucker it looks like it would handle a nice piece of material but you're basically limited to about the size of a piece of printer paper is about all you can engrave on okay so oh. Yeah, I want I want the capability to cut if I go that route, um, but I'm not, I'm debating now. I'm debating. Uh, it's uh, I mean, there's still so much I can do with the routers and so much yeah. I can teach with it. Well, that, uh, and you can also add a diode laser to the router and mm. engrave. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, you can't really cut with a diode laser, Mm-mm. but uh, you can definitely engrave. And I I've seen some people, especially if you've seen that. Uh, laser module that's with the vectric software now it's an additional purchase it's like 50 bucks yeah but uh, yeah i got i've got a laser commons from from long mill so it's uh yeah. and i'm gonna go and buy that 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 laser module is cool as hell because i mean the one the couple of demonstrations they have shown is like um i think it was todd i'm almost sure it was po- todd that did it he carved the face of a tiger and uh, 3D carved a tiger's face and then went back with the laser and shaded it. And it looks like a damn photograph. It looks no. like a 3D photograph. Did he, did he create a video on that? Yes, it's on their way. It's on their YouTube channel. Oh, okay. It's one of the things involved with the laser mod- module. Got it's it. cool as hell. I think it was Todd that did it. It may have been somebody else there at Vectric that did it. Yeah, I got to write this down. I got to I gotta want to go check but that out. It is cool as hell. And if I ever get a laser put on the CNC, I definitely will be getting that laser module and uh, playing with it. Yep. Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. Well, I've definitely got the laser coming. Uh, 
just was I'm, I'm glad I've been able to run into you and actually finally have a conversation with you. So <laughs> I, 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 I don't mean to put people off. I really don't, but no, it's just no. between meetings I've got going behind the scenes. I'm trying mm. to get ready for the uh, Vectric user group meeting. I'm going to be taking off. Yeah. Oh, okay. Have, have a good time. Okay. All righty. <laughs> Wife's heading off to band rehearsal. Um, Does she play one of your guitars? Uh, no, she's a bagpiper. <laughs> Oh, she plays for a local pipe band and they're they rehearse on Monday nights. So oh. that's why I, you know, pick now if I could, because she's now she's gone. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, <laughs> but uh, I'm so I'm working on that. Uh, I'm going to be doing a presentation on vertical work holding, things mm -hmm. like that. And then um, so I've got that going. I. I lost my train of thought. Don't know where I was going with that. Oh, I do a podcast and every other week I have to edit the podcast. We record mm -hmm. on Tuesday nights and all that other good stuff. And uh, trying to rebuild my website because the database got corrupted. Part of it works now. The other part of it doesn't work. So I'm in the middle of rebuilding all that. It's just being a mess. I get it. <laughs> I, I totally get it. I'm in the same boat, brother. I, yep. I can't and, find enough hours in a day. Well, I had wanted to go back. I used to make a video a week and I wanted to go back to that schedule. Well, here it is now, first of May, and I'm not back to that schedule. I think I'm going to give up on that and just keep continue doing a video every other week mm -hmm. and then a, uh, a with a live stream every Sunday because that's turned into a lot of fun. I originally intended that for, and it was Dave Gatton's idea. Um, to do the live stream? Yes. I originally intended that to be accompaniment with the video that got released that morning. And that's how it started. I would release a video on this. And then a few hours later, we'll do a Q and A on that. Oh, okay. Well, it got ended up being, you know, just, people coming in and we're asking questions and we're answering stuff. I don't know everything. So, you know, when you've got a bunch of people who professionally run these machines and people who are just trying to get set up, you've got a whole bunch of different input and it's just a good time, you know? Right. And when you get, you know, 60, 70, 80 people in there, it's, it is a real good time and you never yeah. know what's going to happen. Right. So I just kept doing that, whether I released a video or not. And now I wouldn't give it up for nothing. Huh. Yeah. I'm going to be starting doing that myself too. So yeah, it's a yeah. great, it is a good time. It really is a good time. Yep. So you just gave me incentive to get my butt moving to, to the, to the, to the lives. You just have to be able to dedicate to it and know that you, I mean, I've, I think I've missed one. No, I've missed two. And how long you have 160, oh, no. you have 160 some odd. I've, I've missed several. I had some dental work done and um, had all my teeth pulled and got dentures. Um, I had some dental work done and I missed about, I think I missed two weeks of that to that. And then my wife and I both came down with COVID. Ooh. So I missed two weeks for that. But uh, and then every year around the middle of November, I put the I put the channel on hiatus. Okay. I do live streams every Sunday, but I don't put out any videos because I'm mm. I'm doing things for the holidays. That's when I make Christmas presents and everything. Yeah. And so I don't have time for recording video. I right. just I got to batch out things, you know, because I got too many people to make stuff for. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, I just, I have a ball. So I think I'm just going to stick with the video every other week and go from there. Yeah. Yeah. I actually was at, put some pressure on myself because I haven't put a lot of uh, content out lately. And it's uh, it finally just said, I can only do what I can do. Yeah. I got so much going on, on the back end too. So well, I, I hit my glass ceiling and uh, so mm -hmm. now it's now I'm working on getting that out of the way and then getting well, you, you do have to take time for you you because again i do it for fun but if i start thinking it's becoming a job i don't want a job right and so that'll make me stop doing it right well so what i'm doing now like for instance with this epoxy thing i've never done an epoxy inlay 
and this is the first time on YouTube I've done it this way. Normally, I, I would do two it. or three. Okay. I would do two or three epoxy inlays before I even started the first video about it. This time I said, no, let's, I'll, you're going to learn with me. And sink or swim, succeed or fail, you're going to see it as it happens. Mm -hmm. You know, so I finally got the epoxy. It finally showed up the uh, day before yesterday. Well, see, this is Monday. It got here Friday. And um, I have yet to go out and start cutting it. I'm going to start doing that tomorrow okay. and filming along the way. But it's going to take a week of carving and pouring to get all the colors poured. So it'll probably be, it may be a month before the video comes out. Right. Okay. So, so it's, it's know, not out yet. Okay. No, it's not out yet. Well, working my way up to it, there's like four videos out right now of working my way up to that point, deciding okay. on the design, drawing the vectors, doing all the overlaps. And then the last video was tool pathing and saving G code. Okay. So now this next video coming out, I'm actually going to start cutting and pouring and we'll see what happens. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> All right, well, I, I got to start watching it then. Yeah, it's it's been an adventure and it's expensive. I'll tell you what. Is it? Because I have I haven't done epoxy. but it's... I've got, uh, let's see, one, two, three. Uh, okay. First of all, I have the one gallon epoxy kit. And I have three, six, nine, 10, 13 colors. And that is everything all totaled uh, without shipping was 200 bucks. Without so, shipping. Wow. Without shipping. Um, on the and epoxy, then, and I then got the epoxy, free shipping. And, okay. Okay. All right. Because I figure that's kind of weighty, isn't it? Um, well, it's, um, it's two uh, bottles. Ah. It's two half gallon jugs. Okay. So yeah, it's about 12 pounds, 10, 12 pounds, something like that. But they gave me free shipping. They ought to, it's $58. Yeah. <laughs> so they ought to give me a car wash while they're at it. But yeah, yeah. Well, I promise you the shipping is wrapped right <laughs> into the cost. Of <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> so, but yeah, I, but it's something I've never done. And that's what I want to do. And there's a lot of people asking about it. So why not? Let's, let's learn together. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I'm actually going to do that. <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit yet. I still, uh, people keep asking me about tiling, tiling videos. Mm. I've been shooting them over to your videos for, for that. Yeah. I, I don't have one on tiling, but that's coming. I've got yeah. to do one on tiling. Um, I finally, it took me probably three years before I did a video on stack text, the text okay. on text. Yeah. And I only did it because I got tired of getting requests for it. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, fine, I'll do one, you know? So I did it and I posted it and said, there you go. And then right. that opened the door, do a video on making, do the stack text, but make a template. Then do another video on how to use that template, change names and dates and make another one. Right. So I got two videos out of it. I'm like, oh, okay, that'll work. Yeah, that, that, that's the fun of it. When you make a video, you always have another one coming just from somebody. Oh, God save us, yes. So, <laughs> but uh, I'm getting a lot more questions now on uh, on the epoxy thing okay. and doing inlays. And okay. I've yet to do a wood inlay. I just haven't had the time. I really? haven't had the need. Because yeah. I have to make things for kids, grandkids, and the house here because I've got a wife that wants stuff too. Mm -hmm. And what I, so what I have to do is try to gear stuff toward, I have to have a purpose for what I'm making. Yeah. And if I don't have a purpose for it, there's no sense to make it. Right. So I don't have a purpose right yet for an inlay, but eventually I'm going to have to do one anyway, whether I want the thing or not, you know? So yep. There's I'll tell you what, going on. you know what, the inlay video, that, that's my number one video. I, 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 I did one on inlays and uh, oh my God, it's just, it's shot to the roof. It's, it just surpassed everything. Yeah, Cause there's a lot of people that want that, that. There's a lot of people that buy a CNC router because that's what they want to do is inlay. Right. Right. Inlays you know, Cause beautiful. you've got channels out there like MTM wood and bro in wood where mm -hmm. they're showing these beautiful inlays. And they're showing the machine cutting them and everything, 
but they're not telling you how they're Nobody's doing it. Nobody's telling you how to they do it. They don't show you how to design it. And they don't show you the behind the scenes. Yeah. So when you come along and you do that, you're going to get views. And that's yeah. all there is to it. Yep. You know, people don't care about project videos. They want to know how you made the project. Right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I, I find that, that, especially the beginners, right? They, they want step by step. And I get it, right? If you, if you miss a beat, they don't, the, 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 something's missing in their understanding. Exactly. The whole thing. So I want to try to give, give them everything. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we still miss. Oh, well, Mark, I got a meeting in about 20 minutes. Okay. So, yeah, just, uh, I'm glad to hook up with you and, and uh, finally talk to you. Yeah, well, you know, the feeling is mutual. I know you've got a, you've got a pretty good reputation out there. And uh, I see people recommending you all the time. I'm not as active on social media as I used to be, just simply mm. because I can't take the time. Yeah. You know, um, and it's hard to accept friend requests on something like Facebook or what have you, because a good percentage of the time, not always, a good percentage of the time, somebody will friend request me because they want to private message me because they're having an issue. And mm. it's like, I can't sit down for an hour and help you work on that because yeah. I don't have an hour to spend. I, right. I just don't. Right. I, I'll tell you what I did, Mark. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> right. I took all, yeah, I'm, I, on my personal Facebook, it's like, I'm, nope, this is, this is my friends, my world. Um, but yeah. um, what I did is I took all my videos and I put it, I put them in a list. I got them all sorted. And so whenever I get asked, just, just take this list and look at it first. And then, yeah. then, then we'll talk. That's what I do. Every video yeah. I put up is in a, is in a playlist, yeah. every video, but you yeah. would be surprised at the number of people who don't know how playlists work. Yeah. Well, I, I put it on, a, I, I put it on a PDF. And so I give them a PDF. I'm, I'm putting up, I put it up on a web page on my website. Okay. okay. Go here. Right. And I mean, there's all 50 of the absolute beginner series episodes, mm. all 50 of them right there. So you just yep. click and just follow along. Yep. You heard it. <laughs> it's there. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right, brother. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, I look forward to chatting with you again. Do you, okay. do you mind uh, if I post this on my channel or a little chit chat or not? I uh, can, if you'd like, I mean, up to you. yeah, it, you can, if you'd like, okay. I mean, Thanks everybody for watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'll send you a copy of the recording. So okay. I'll, send, I'll send you the link and download it. All right. But uh, yeah, that's just, uh, I, I really enjoyed finally meeting you after watching The Legend. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I hear people oh, always say. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, I, that's, if, if there is one thing that yeah. I need people to understand is I am the same guy I was before I started doing any of this. Mm -hmm. I'm nobody special. I'm just some guy in a shed on the internet. Yeah. I'm nothing special. Talk to me like you, like I'm trying to borrow money from you. Right. It's, you know, I'm just this guy. I'm nothing special. <laughs> it's kind of like when you, when you, when you're talking to people, it's like eventually one day I'll, I'll be at one of these shows. I'm going to mm -hmm. run into you. And it's going to be, Oh, Mark, the God. Oh, oh stop man. it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to run as fast as I can because, right, right. you know, I, I no, that's just that have is, that bucket of ice water. And throw that it. is so not me. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> that is so not me. I mean, Likewise. you know, legends don't have to take out the trash. Legends right. aren't sitting here with holes in their t shirt. You uh, know, yep. yeah, I, I legends don't have to edit their own videos. I mean, yes, yes, or move the camera because it's not getting the. Ah! legends right. don't lose all the audio and have to go re-record something right you know <laughs> yep i hear you i hear you it's it's it, we work just as hard as anybody else and uh so i'm gonna be watching your your poor videos uh yeah it'll be a couple of weeks because you have to pour one color let that cure overnight then you can go back and carve over that and pour the next color let that cure and then come back and carve over that so those you know, things have to be like totally dust free before you pour into it. Oh yeah. Well, I got to go mount it on the machine, make my first carve, bring it in here. And I'm not set up in here yet. Bring it in here and pour in here. Let that cure overnight. Then I can take it back out, remount it, then set X, Y, Z, zero and cut the next, uh, cut the next color. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's going to be wild. You got There's nice... A, you get a jig to make sure you place it the same way or nope 
uh, I'm just going to be, I've, I've got one little fixture that I made. That's a little, uh, it, it basically all it is, it's a straight edge that I clamp down in my T track to keep the piece parallel with the, uh, and square to the uh, movement of the gantry, okay. both in X and Y. Okay. And it um, then fasten it down with uh, blue tape and CA glue, which is right. my most popular video. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I can't believe how that took off, man. It was the craziest thing. Really? But anyway, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, it just, it went absolutely nuts. And what, and what, what, what was the core of the video? Using, instead of using double-sided tape, I hate double-sided tape with a passion. Okay. Instead of using double-sided tape, use painter's tape and CA glue. Oh. Put a piece of painter's tape on on. So the house. whole thing was around around double-sided versus. No, the whole video was around. Don't I don't use double-sided tape. I put down blue tape on the spoil board, blue tape on the back of the piece, a bead of CA glue, some right. accelerator, stick it down, and then I went through i i did a on the same piece i did some v carving i did a pocket i did i did surfacing v carving a pocket then profile cutout all on the same piece just to show that it would hold okay and it's got coming up on two hundred thousand views or something like that wow when did you post that one i posted that oh my when did i post that when did i post that um let me see here. That would have been 2017, I believe. Okay. Something like that. It's it's an old video. Huh. I love um, CA glue. I love CA glue. And and it wasn't my idea. It's there was a there's a uh, a guitar channel over in the UK called Crimson Custom Guitars. Okay. And um, he had an apprentice show him that method okay. for just basically using one of their leveling beams uh, to stick a, uh, to stick a, a, a strip of uh, sandpaper onto one of their leveling beams because they couldn't find a self-adhesive sandpaper of the right width. Hmm. And he was like, that'll never work. And so they tried it. And sure enough, it does work. This is great. So I said, I wonder if that would hold stuff down on a CNC tape. Right. And my mistake has got 160,000 views. And I posted it six years ago. Okay. Wow. So, wow. But, yeah, uh, CA glue is great. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got, a, I, but they contacted me. And so they gave me a code, discount code. Yeah. To, to, Share on the channel. I'm sure you've been contacted by. Oh, them. I've I've been contacted by a few, but I turned about probably 99% of it down because yeah. I don't. Um, I've had three companies contact me wanting to send me a CNC, and all three of them I said, okay, here's what I have. I have this capacity in X and Y. I'm running a two and a quarter horsepower router. Mm -hmm. If you can upgrade me from there, we can talk. If you can't then I'm respectfully will decline. I'm not interested. I don't right. want to back down from what I have. Right. Why right. would I do that? You know? Right. Yeah. And I haven't heard from any of them since. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. Okay, chief. Well, uh, then we'll talk again. All right. Yeah, hey, you have a good one. Yeah. I see you've got an appointment in a couple of minutes. I'll leave you to it. All yeah. right. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Have Bye. a good one. Take I'll care. See you.